So this video is made by the friend of HVAC school, Jeff Casey, and Jeff did a really nice little quick video on splitting condenser coils. And there's really, you know, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's not a super complex concept. It just requires a lot of work. So when you need to split a condenser coil, first off, the reason why you would need to do that is because it's a multi-row coil. In this particular case, he's going to show a three-row coil, um, but even in the case of a two-row coil, in a lot of cases, you're going to need to split those condensers apart, those coils apart, in order to get in and clean them properly. And really, the main thing, the main work associated with it is you have to pull the top off, you have to pull the side access panels off, and get to the end of the coil, and then you have to have something to kind of support that coil as you peel it away. So that's a really important part, is having something to set it on so that way it doesn't sag and damage the coil. Obviously, like all condenser coil cleaning, you need to be really gentle with the fins. You don't want to use too much pressure. And what Jeff's showing is how you kind of blow down the coil to begin with to get some of the big soil off. And then you go through the coil. And a good way to do it is to start on the inside and then kind of work your way out. Um, and obviously, as you as you go through, there's going to be some splatter onto the onto the backside of the next coil, and so you got to kind of work down that coil. But you really just are sort of working from inside to out, and then from top to bottom, and slowly working everything off those coils. And it, you know, it's a big job, and it can be. But for those of you who have been doing commercial maintenances, if you haven't been considering splitting your multi-row coils, you may have systems that are running high head pressure. So if you, you know, follow the podcast or follow our, our videos and, and tech tips, you know that when you have a dirty condenser coil, you're going to run high head pressure and you're also going to run abnormally high approach. So your, your liquid temperature is going to be higher than the outdoor temperature than it normally would be if the coil was clean. So hopefully that helps. Here we go. This is Jeff Casey. So we got the Voyager 20 ton package unit, condenser coil, stopped up pretty good. What we're doing now is just knocking the first first layer of dirt off of the uh, second coil to get it ready to, uh, to give it a good and thorough cleaning. What we're going to do is get as much of this stuff knocked off as we can. Or we switch to a uh, coil gun. It's a little bit better reach, but not quite as much pressure. So we we'll get as much done as we can before we get to that point. We're using some. Uh, locally acquired cribbing to uh, help support the condenser coil so we don't put any more strain on the copper than we have to. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so if you want to pay attention to is what the water looks like coming out the back side. Big thank you to Jeff Casey for making this. A reminder to all of you, make sure to do good cleanings when you do your PMs. Thanks for watching HVAC School.